two weeks ago Noctua released a complete new CPU tower cooler which is definitely interesting for some SFF cases even though you might be surprised with the height and everything but it does fit in some of larger SFF cases of course not in those really smaller ones and uh, basically we have loads of cool information about this cooler which will definitely compete with even NHU12A. This is the NHD12L which comes with the NFA1225R uh, which is a round PWM fan and of course we have loads of testing to do. Uh, since I did a review with NHU12A Chromax Black on 5600G I'm quite curious how the NHD12L will compete on the same processor even though these coolers are really an overkill for that processor. I'm quite curious uh, because they stated this one performs better, even better than the NHU12A. So let's start with a uh, regular unboxing and see what we got inside the box. The maximum height of this cooler is 145 millimeters and you have loads of clearance for your RAMs and for your IO cover so you don't have to worry about that and it comes with twin tower design so you have two passive heatsink and a fan in the middle. Now as in every Noctua box uh, with the CPU tower cooler we get the always well organized accessory box with all the mounting kits and standoffs, screws and whatever you need for it but uh, let's first talk about this uh, CPU tower cooler. As you can see two passive heatsink, one is much much thicker than the uh, other one and we have five heat pipes going through the passive heatsink, both passive heatsink down to the base plate that gets into contact with your CPU. As you can see the cooler doesn't stick out out of the pins from the heat pipes so this is 145 of height and that's really outstanding. Now of course we have a PWM fan which you can control quite nicely uh, through your BIOS and everything and one more thing, you might have noticed that I have another NFA1225R fan right here which you can attach either on front or at the back creating additional airflow but then what happens is the fan sits basically either on your RAMs or on the IEO cover from your motherboard and this gives additional height to it so you can't expect to place it in those tight spots. Now in the accessory box you get all the instructions as always we have here uh, LGA 1700, 1200 and 115X and of course AM4 and AM5 so that's quite cool they immediately acquired all the instruction manuals that you need to know for future sockets and for the current sockets so there's that. Now of course we get thermal paste you get additional hinges for additional fan, uh, Noctua badge and this is LNA low noise adapter if you decide to go with it. Brackets for your AMD, brackets for your Intel and loads of screws, uh, standoffs and everything else and of course we have special ones for the uh, LGA 1700 and of course the backplate secure form for all Intel sockets except for the LGA 20XX for which basically you don't need a backplate since it has threads already on the motherboard so you just need to uh, find the proper screws to attach it. Now there's also one thing that uh, I need to mention when it comes to this CPU tower cooler it fits many 4U enclosures so this is outstanding for servers or something uh, similar to those and it also fits narrower tower cases that have been uh, previously limited to 92 millimeter fans and CPU tower coolers because uh, those 92 millimeter fans are quite smaller, less airflow and uh, similar stuff. Now usually for the other CPU tower coolers that are based on 120 millimeter fans usually go up with a height uh, up to 155, 158 millimeters. This one is 145 as already stated and that's quite cool because it gives you more varieties, more possibilities to place this CPU tower cooler inside those cases. So as I stated today we're going to make a quite interesting build because we're going to have a full Noctua build uh, basically all uh, Noctua fans on bottom on side and on the top because we're going to run some sort of a chimney effect let's put it that way and we're going to place this uh, NHD12L in of course 
the middle of it to get some results on AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. As already stated, I want to compare it with the NHU12A and see the actual difference. Uh, unfortunately, I'll have the same case, but I think we'll get that very close because both cases are quite nicely designed for airflow. Now, after running uh, loads of benchmarks uh, in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition, well, basically there aren't that many to run, but uh, CPU and GPU in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition system stability test with and without the NFA1225R we got some quite interesting results. Now, first of all, the last time I used the Noctua NHU12A on 5600G, it was inside the Fractal Torrent case, which actually has quite an outstanding airflow and we can't deny that. Now, in that case, 5600G had 56 to 57 Celsius degrees. Here, without the bottom fan, so without the extra NFA1225R, it started at 57 and it uh, stayed stable at 60. Now, I wouldn't say that the CPU tower cooler has a problem or anything uh, comparing to what they said. I think it's more of this case situation since it has a chimney effect. Well, it has completely reversed inlay and since the bottom fans are taking the cold air from the bottom which is properly for chimney effect right it has these closed parts so we can't take that much air except from this part right here and the same thing on the other side so if it was raised at least a bit higher at least one centimeter and if it had more opening here the temperatures would be most likely normal lower than the nhu12a now here as I already said it starts at 57 and it finishes at 60 while adding the additional nfa 12 25r on the bottom part well here on the rams uh, i got actually 58 celsius degrees so you can see that the case does matter when it comes to cooling but you already knew that so i just wanted to state it once again but even with the case that has a bit worse scenario for cooling than the fractal torrent the nhd 12 l really does an outstanding work and that's not all uh, you see i placed 7 nfa 1225 no r version ju just standard nfa 1225 and the whole chassis the whole build was really quiet even with the full load you don't have to expect some noise because even these fans and this cooler really keep it nice and quiet comparing to some other CPU tower coolers. I would say that as usual, what can I say? I'm really satisfied with uh, Noctua performance and the design and actual height. Uh, as you can see also from the close up that adding this one, the NFA 1225R, it goes somewhere around 160 to 165 millimeters of height. So you have to take that into consideration when adding another fan because you can't squeeze it in in a smaller case. Otherwise, this is 145 and you can actually see the RGB on the RAMs. You can see the uh, IEO cover for the motherboard and everything looks so nice, tidy and yeah, I'm not talking about the build. I'm talking about the whole clearance for the CPU tower cooler so guys uh, first of all performance badge i do have to give it almost every time for noctua because they really do create some outstanding products and if you're looking for something that is quite smaller and you want to put it either in your 4u rack mount uh, for servers or if you want to place it in an sff build with let's say a uh, bigger volume you can use this one as well loads of socket compatibility even am5 which is coming shortly and that's basically it so guys uh, don't forget to check the links below for the noctua nhd 12 l and for the noctua nf a 12 25 r so you can combine whatever you wish and finally if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content hopefully i will see you in another one very very soon bye bye